the next magician who's trying to deceive our duo. I started out as a normal kid, and when I was 13 years old, I was physically struck by lightning. And that's when the magic started to happen. After you're struck by lightning, it's, uh, it's pretty pointless not to live life to the fullest. So ever since then, I've been taking a lot of risks, and tonight's gonna be no different. My show's been described as if David Copperfield and Van Halen had a baby. You get a rock and roll magic show. The excitement level goes up, the energy goes up. It really is where I come alive. The appeal with Danger Magic is it's not a deck of cards, right? People get on the edge of their seats when they think there's some danger involved. Tonight, I'm really putting my neck on the line. Penn, Teller, this is not something you see every day. Joined by our very own Penn Gillette, please welcome back Leon Etienne. <laughs> It is an honor and a pleasure to be back on your stage, and I'm grateful to be here. And now that I'm back, let's predict the future. Good thinking. Yeah, I, uh, I brought a deck of tarot cards with me. Good. And they say that by reading the tarot, you can gain a glimpse into the future. But since we're here, let's, uh, let's have some fun together, okay? Okay. We'll do a traditional two-card reading. Hold out your left hand. I'm gonna cut <laughs> one, two cards from the packet, and let's see what we got. Oh, geez. The first one is not looking too good. No. It's actually... Uh, death. The death card. Yes, audience, most people would, would read negatively into that. However, it is my objective to kill it here on stage for you tonight. Okay, I see. And ladies and gentlemen, spoiler alert, I'm going to be doing something that's death-defying. Oh, good. Pen. What is the second card the you second have? second card is the Fool. The Fool. Which is why I thought you should have had Teller up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> Nothing more. Pen, the, <laughs> the Fool actually represents surprise. And uh, I hope to surprise you and Teller here tonight. Okay. So we're going to make that your official card. Okay. We'll have you sign it. I'm going to sign it. Please take the marker and put your na uh, name as big as you can okay. on that card. Beautiful. I'll You're take welcome. the pen from you. Okay. And this is a miniature straight jacket. Oh. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, but you gotta admit it's pretty cute. Very cute. Very cute. Very pen, cute. I'm gonna give that to you. Thank you. And if you wouldn't mind, please give me your card back. Okay. Signed, it is the only one in the world that looks like this, yes? I would think so. And check it out. Please watch this very carefully. Mm -hmm. I know you're gonna be interested. I am. It goes right back. It does. Into the middle of the deck, and we close the box up. Sometimes that's the hardest part. Yes. <laughs> Pen, that is the bottom of the mini straight jacket. Can you please open it, look inside, make sure there's nothing in there? Yes, yes, yes. hold it open, because we're going to slide the deck and put it into the mini straight jacket. There it is. And we'll then secure it. With zip tie? With the zip tie. Wow. Pen, listen to this sound as we secure your card in place. That's a very romantic sound. It is. <laughs> Pen, the reason we use a straight jacket to secure the deck in your card is because this trick is crazy. I see. And thank you so much for your help to this point. You may go back to your seat. Give it up for Pen! Now that Penn's card is secured in a straight jacket, it's only fair that I get secured in a straight jacket as well. Penn, tell her this is the real deal. Also, Chelsea is gonna place the deck right there so you can keep an eye on it this entire time. It will not leave this stage. Folks, this is a regulation straight jacket made out of military grade canvas and stainless steel hardware. These things are designed to restrain people who need restraining. Right now, Chelsea is securing all four buckles that go across the back. And if you ask me, in my opinion, she's doing some rather aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a bottom one here. And we also agreed she'll be very careful with this one for obvious reasons. <laughs> and last but not least, she will secure my arms in place. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've had some fun, but here's the serious part. It is now my job to escape this straight jacket. And then, Penn, your card will escape the mini straight jacket. That's pretty cool, audience, yeah? yeah? 
but it's not cool enough. I'm gonna make all that happen while suspended upside down from these jaws of death. I will have approximately 60 seconds to get out of this straitjacket and find Penn's card before that saw cuts that chain, which will release those jaws. Chelsea, please put the mini straitjacket in my mouth. the fool and the fool represents surprise and surprise man I didn't find your card but the jaws did there is one card impaled on that tooth and with any luck pen this is your card the fool with your name on it. Leon Etienne! Hi! Hi. Hello! Hi. Wow. Ooh. That was crazy. Thank you, yes. I think. Yes. You, uh, you must have nerves of steel. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not something you're used to. I remember the first time I hung upside down was when I was about 18 years old at a circus. And I went down to the, uh, the circus master. I said, hey, I got this idea. I'm a magician. Can I, you know, like the iconic Houdini? And he said, absolutely, we can do that. So have you had any magic accidents? Yeah, uh, there's a thing in the business we, called, we call flash paper, and it's a very uh, combustible piece of paper, and it just bursts into flame. It's a special effect, right? And one day I had a piece of that in my pocket, and I had a sparker effect going on over here in this hand, and I must have ignited the paper. It went all the way up the side of my face, a slight burn here, but all the hair on this side was completely oh. gone. Uh, and the best part is the audience just went, whoa! <laughs> It was incredible. And then the next night you had to do the other side to get the hair. Yeah, and now here's how yeah. we got the look. Yes, exactly. It's good. Yes. <laughs> Let's find out if you fooled Penn and Teller. I'll tell you, Leon, we share your joy and your pain. We have spent a lot of years trying to make card tricks exciting and dangerous. We've gone underwater, we've done knives, we've stabbed them. But I got to tell you, <clears throat> This is the most elaborate card sword we have ever seen. It's just beautiful. What a, what a great routine. Um, but listen, you've been on before. Mm -hmm. Also, you fooled us last time. Teller and I stay smiling, we stay happy, we stay kind, but that means in our heart, there's a little, a little bit of black hate for you. <laughs> Because, you know, like the Who, we do not want to get fooled again. And this time, we kept our eyes on you, but we also kept our eyes on your assistant. Because sometimes the assistants we think are invisible. But Chelsea is far from invisible. Yes. Now, you had me up on stage, which might not have been the best move because you brought the dumb one up on stage. <laughs> Meanwhile, the smart one was sitting here studying your assistant, who was very, very helpful. I mean, very, very helpful. And uh, I think I've given you a few hints, but I'll just tell you right now, if anything we've said is not right, 
You just tell me to zip it. Just like that. Everything you've said is right. Yeah. Okay. Do you want more? No, no. You're, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, I, no, you're Penn and Teller, and I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. no. uh, all right. Thank you. Leon Etienne. Right now, I'm going to distract you with this commercial and then triumphantly produce our next magician. Check it out.